Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel for episode 19 of Bumbling Through Birthright. Did we stop there for a little bit? We did stop there for a little bit. <laughs> so part of the problem was I, I spend a bit of time on these videos, it takes a while to film, it takes a while to edit, and the weeks would go past with no views. And I I don't need views to keep going, but with all that effort it'd be nice to get like one view. <laughs> So I decided, you know, there's other things in my life I should be prioritizing, and I stopped. And then, like, the minute I made that decision, I got like three views, and so I guess, I guess we're continuing. It's gonna be a little bit different though. Um, I usually daily vlog, and I'm now only down to five days a week vlogging because I'm focusing more on my writing. So I think what I'm gonna do in an effort to be able to sustain this and sustain my writing, because that's what I've been focusing on, is I'm gonna post every other week. So every other Sunday. I think that's what I'm gonna do. We'll see if I stick with it. I, I don't know, maybe I'll be like, nope, we're good, I can post every week. But for now, we're gonna call it every second week. Also, I got a new background here, whoop. It's um the maps from Birthright. This is, this is where my character's from, that's cool. Um, I don't know why I never thought to film in front of these before, because they have been here since we moved in October, but Whatever, we're here now, that's what matters. And with that, I think we should just get into this episode. If you are not caught up, or I know it's been a while, you haven't seen the last video, make sure you check out the link down below. I also have a playlist for all the videos so you can catch up that way. And let's just get into it. So for this session, we had five player characters. We had Roz, Brindis, Val, Rainier, and Renolfer. And if you remember, we were on Dantier Island. And also, if you remember, we just kind of fought a T-Rex and won. So the first thing we decided that we need to do was take a long rest because fighting dinosaurs is a little bit hard. So we decided to take a long rest on Dantier Island because we didn't want to get on a boat and start making our way back to Holling Holman because you never know what might happen on a boat. Maybe you can get a long rest in, maybe you'll just all die because the wizard doesn't have spells. So for the long rest, Brindis took her time writing to all the countries in the highlands. I don't think you can really see. This is the highlands here. Um, this is us. This is the country we just invaded. Um, freed from banditry. Uh, this is Finnick, which is where Brindis's husband is from, so now this is Stjord Finnick. Uh, so she took a chance and she decided to write Halskapa and the Siren and I think Jan Capping and Hoganmark and even Doson because the Blood Skull Barony is a problem and then a little bit further north the White Witch is a problem. So that's <laughs> what she spent her time doing. She thinks that we need to have a summit to talk about what to do about the Orogs and the Blood Skull Barony. But I think also, importantly, the White Witch, because she's terrible. She has been infiltrating us and messing with us like crazy, sending people trying to kill the Queen, you know, the usual. But also the Orogs are terrible, so two problems. Also, one of Brindis's main goals in life is to reunite the Highlands, so maybe we can do that peacefully instead of having to conquer a bunch more countries, because, I mean, problematic. Renolfer then was like, yeah, I'm in a new place. I'm gonna go gamble here. Cause that's, he either gambles or he goes to church. He's got problems. Roz spent the week going through some of the spell books that she had picked up along the way and copying out a couple spells into her own spell book. I know she took Blight and False Life, which are both necromancy spells, which is, it's, it's, it's a hard thing for Roz because she swore an oath that necromancy is bad. She, had to go take out the necromancer up in Viborg, and um, but they're kind of super effective, so she's struggling with her oath and necromancy right now. Rainier spent the time carousing in this little settlement on Dantier Island because after we killed the evil doctor guy, he's like, this is a perfect place for a hunting lodge. I can bring people here. We can hunt dinosaurs. It will be fantastic. So he's trying to get people interested in that so he spent some time glad handing and all that fun stuff also dantier island we can show you here is right there so that's where we currently are in relation to hauling home and where we usually call home val spent some time researching for some cool weapons because jan has been doing a lot of that and he's been finding some cool things but 
in his finding of cool things, he's found really cool things that he can't afford to buy because they usually tend to be really expensive. So then it was time for us to decide what to do after that long rest. Do we want to get on the ship and go back home or did we want to go and look at the one last thing that we hadn't set out to find on this island? And that is the Pirate King Mad Dog Markov, who is somewhere on this island. Wildcat, a guy on the island who does boat repairs, said that he's often repaired the ship, the pirate ship, the Vulture, and it usually has some burns on it, so he's thinking that they're probably docking near the volcano. And we decide, you know what, let's let's go see if we can find them. What, might as well get this last thing done here, and also maybe we'll see other cool things while we're out on the island. So we head out into the jungle, and in very short order, these four gorilla-like humanoid things drop down from the trees and try to kill us but we killed them so it's fine. We keep going and we find some velociraptor like creatures like Deinonychuses and there's a lot of them but they are terrible at hitting us. You know sometimes like monsters can't hit you? This was one of those cases so we took them out pretty easily and then as we're continuing along Renolfer is foraging for food he finds some like bad shrooms and he goes on a bad trip. So we're going along and we find these three pirates and they are absolutely bonkers. They're foraging for food. They are not at all helpful to us. And we're like, can you lead us back to where you're staying? And they're like, no, we need to forage for food. So Rainier is like, you know what, I'll go catch you some food. So he goes and he sets up a trap and a, a monster comes up and it's not going to fit in the trap because it's a triceratops and so suddenly we're in the middle of this fight with the triceratops and Val manages to crit with Frostbreaker and if you crit with Frostbreaker you can take off a limb so she takes off the thing's limb it's dead and Rainier and her slice up the meat and they go oh here you go like we got you some meat and the pirates are like we're vegetarians that's gross and they're like really upset because we just killed a dinosaur that's their friend I mean, maybe not their friend, but that they wouldn't eat. So they're not helpful at all. And finally, we decide to give up and we're just going to track their steps back to wherever they came from because we have Val, who's a ranger, and we have Rainier, who's a barbarian that lives in a nomadic tribe. Chances are we'll find our way there. They end up kind of following along with us because maybe they're curious. And we get to the cave and they're like, whoa, you guys can't go in there looking like that. And we're like, why? You need to change, but they won't give us any reasons why we need to change or what we should change into so We just go in as is Well Rainier tries to go in sneaking first, but one of the pirates decides to go with him and so that doesn't work So we all just go in and in this cave. There's a lava flow There's a rock that's stopping it and right between there the boat is moored and there's a lot of pirates on there, so like more pirates than we could probably deal with if they decide to get hostile, so we need to figure something out to not get to that situation. Well, we get closer and Mad Dog Markov sees us and just starts freaking out. He has seen Brindis's dress in Tiarvold blue and it's gorgeous and she looks better than him and he is not impressed with this. So the only thing there is to do, he's like telling her to strip and get naked and get rid of that dress and she's refusing to. So Roz does the only thing that she can think to do which is to illusion Brindis' dress to look like crap. So when the Pirate King shows up and gets closer, he's like, eh, that's not so bad. And then he's like, you know what? That's actually too ugly to be in my presence. Here, wear these rags instead. So. <laughs> Crisis avert it. Brindis' pride is hurt a little bit, but they promise to boat us back around to the main settlement on Dantir Island, so, you know, all is well. It doesn't take too long to get there, but on the way, suddenly there's a giant sea monster. And this is what Rainier came here for. He heard about these giant sea creatures. We totally stocked up our boat on the way across with harpoons and rope and stuff. This is what he wanted and so I think they had 
a harpoon or a javelin or something on the boat and some rope and you know he got it and he ran he started attacking it and it almost went very poorly because this thing's giant and it's trying to pull away and then the boat's trying to go this way and it's just and then he decided to turn around and start attacking the people on the boat um which could have gone terribly but there were five of us, so we made it. It was fine. It was okay. And we get to the settlement, and we're like, there you go. There, There's the sea monster. We got it. And so, we're like, that's the second time in just a week that we've brought them a giant creature worth of meat because we brought them the T-Rex last time. At that point, we've done pretty much everything we want to do on Dantier Island. We saw all the things we want to see. We got a sea creature for Rainier. We're good. So we decide to head back to Hollinghoman. So we get in our boat with the guy that we commissioned like the week before, and away we go. Along the way, this Anurian galleon shows up, and it's smaller than regular galleons, and it turns out it's just goblins, so that's why it's smaller, and they are coming for us. And we try to get away, and it doesn't work so well. And they try to catch up, and it doesn't work so well. And it's just a battle of being really bad at controlling boats for a while, and then Brindis grabs Rainier and they dimension door to the other side. <laughs> but the funny thing is, they get over there and Brindis is like, that, I'm sorry, that was my only dimension door spell. I can't, that's it, that's all we got. I can't do anything else. And so we're kind of stuck here, so we need to get our boat to come back around. But Val was trying to control it and she was having a lot of trouble, so we're just kind of drifting further and further away. Plus, we couldn't really attack them. I mean, some of us had long range spells or bow and arrow, but you know, disadvantage in some cases. So it wasn't going well. And we got two people over there that are hopefully horde breaking the little goblins. Eventually, Renolfer takes control of our ship and he manages to turn around, get it back going the right way. And so Roz grabs Val because she is just champing at the bit to get over there and horde break. And they thunder step over to the other boat. And then when they get there, Roz is like, that was my only thunder step, so we're stuck here now. <laughs> Which I thought was hilarious, like the two magic users. Just like, yeah, we got you there. Get, get us back somehow. <laughs> so we managed to take them down eventually. It was a little bit rough, but this ship is going down and we're on it. And we're relying on Renolfer to be able to t get our ship close enough that we can get there. Thankfully, we left the right person in charge of the boat because Renolfer was able to get it turned around, get it to us. We were able to get on it just before the Goblin Galleon sank. We're also a little bit injured, but not too, too bad. And we continue on our way because we could go back to Dantier Island, but we're probably going to make it to Hollingholman unless we come across something terrible. Of course, a few days go by and we see a ship on the distance. But this one is the Light of Eric. We have come across the ship before. They don't attack us, which, which is nice. A few days after that, we come across a Canassi ship, which is, you know, from Roz's home down, down here. And um, we just run away. We're, we're, not, we're not going there. We're just, bye. And then we get back to hauling Holman, and the first thing Rainier decides he wants to do is go get a new sword, like a cool sword. It's not just any sword. He goes to someone and gets them to craft it for him, and it is a sword that you can put oil in the bottom and you can light it. It doesn't really give fire damage, but it'll, you know, light your way if you need it to. And I mean, it just looks cool, and if you need to catch something on fire, you're set. And then we get back to the castle, and we find out that the five people that Rainier had set on Nolan Terrell, who was that plague doctor that we had seen up in Levica, they turned up dead. So, I mean, we were right to put a guard on him, but also that didn't work so well probably something we're gonna have to deal with now at some point because he's probably a terrible guy. And then the last bit of information we get for the session and from our advisors back at the castle is that the Ryuvan Embassy, so if you remember it was the Bandit Kingdom up over, you can't see it, but over there, that we had taken control of, their embassy in our city has been found to be trapped. And the knights or whatever went in and were like, you know what, this is super trapped, this is not something that we want to pursue further at this point, so 
maybe we should leave it to someone else and that I mean I don't think they meant that someone else to be the queen in her party but it's gonna be the queen in her party so that is the end of that session I hope you enjoyed it. if you do make sure you hit that like button and also subscribe so you'll know when the next one comes out and don't forget to watch the rest of the playlist to get caught up if you aren't and with that I will see you next time